Campbell of Bidirect International. And I'm here today speaking with Marcus Montgomery, international marketing expert. So how are you going today? I'm good, Joel. How are you? I'm glad to be here. I'm pretty good myself. Great. We're here today talking about business and coaching. So Marcus, what is the guided principle of your coaching practice? Well, I think the guiding principle for me has been, you know, we've worked over the past 15 years, Joel, we've worked with over 1,200 companies and individuals to help them increase uh, productivity in sales, customer service, um, you know, procurement of, of contracts, customer increase, all across the spectrum. Um, we've worked with um, individuals, we've worked with large corporations, and the guiding principle has been, for me, every, everyone is a case-by-case -case basis. So we don't ever try to fit every business into a specific, um, we don't try to pigeonhole businesses with a customized program. We, I mean, with a, with a one-size-fits-all program. I believe everything should be customized, number one. Number two, the biggest thing we seem to run into in, with business or personal coaching is the confidence level of our clients. By and large, clients have an idea or a vision, but they haven't quite figured out how to get crystal clear about that vision or idea and how to take actionable steps to achieve their stated goals to reach that vision or idea. So one of the biggest things we do is we work on the confidence level and how to be self-inspired or self-motivated throughout this journey. And we have specific things that we do to help our clients be able to achieve that. So how can coaching help businesses and individuals? Good question. Uh, no matter how good you are at, in your field, in your industry, in your niche, uh, everyone at some time or another needs a coach. For example, I like to use this example. Um, Michael Jordan by many considered the greatest basketball player of all times. Michael Jordan had a, a shooting coach. Well, some people would say, why would Michael Jordan, you know, the greatest basketball player ever, need a shooting coach? The reason why is because when you are trying to achieve preeminence or to become the best in your industry or your field of expertise, you do everything you can to maybe miss things you're not seeing. When Michael is out there playing ball he can't sit back and watch himself. So what they do, they'll look at the film and they'll say, well, look, your elbow was in on those three shots you missed in a row, or maybe these might be some things the coach would work with them on. Much the same with business coaching or individual coaching. When I work with someone, I get to find out what their habits are. I learn to know everything there is about their business. And me, as someone from the outside looking in, I know what their strengths are and I can see if they're playing to their strengths and I can see if they're doing things to increase what could be perceived weaknesses or perceived areas where they might need to improve their skill level or their competency, and we can work with that. So what we do is we will, uh, I like to use something called um, GAAS is the, is the acronym. And it stands for goals, it stands for actions, accountability, and systems. So those four ingredients, you know, they have their idea or their vision or their goal, and we, we, we create a plan with actionable, measurable, time-sensitive steps to help them reach that goal. <coughs> Excuse me. And then we um, will have accountability sessions afterwards to see where we've come. And if we've reached those goals, and if not, we will review and see why. And then we have systems in place that support the whole vision and help deliver not only um, clients, not only additional revenue, but also additional um, prospects for the future and they help support and lay the groundwork for success. So do you have a preferred coaching method that you use? Yeah, my preferred method is I like to have a session, an introductory session, where we cover what the vision or idea is for that individual or that business and then from there we will create a plan that, that supports that, that vision and then we will have um, specific steps and we will have a second meeting set up after we've covered those specific action steps that need to be taken in the interim before we meet again. 
and then we have the accountability session afterwards where we review and see how the client did on reaching those stated goals and then we also at the first meeting we'll see what kind of systems are in place already supporting it and we will see what systems need to be put in place to support the vision and the action steps and the plan going forward. And so that method is called, uh, I mentioned it before, it's called, the acronym is GAAS, which stands for Goals, Actions, Accountability, and Systems. And why are systems important in coaching? Good question. Systems are crucial because one of the things I run into most when I'm working with coaching clients is that they have a great idea, they might have a great business model, but they don't have a system that supports that. When I talk about system, maybe their website is weak. Maybe it's just a traditional site, but not really a marketing site. Maybe their, uh, maybe their social media is not where it should be to where it's sending leads back to their website. Maybe their, their email marketing is not where it should be. So we make sure that they have a system in place to support them and to keep up with the, with the, the trending things in social media, in online marketing, because this is an ever-changing, evolving uh, field when it comes to technology. So if you're going to stay competitive in business in this day and age, you need to stay competitive and up on trending, um, trending online marketing um, concepts and also stay abreast of what's happening with your competitors and in your industry. Can you give me an example of a successful coaching outcome you've recently experienced? Yes, we recently worked with a large contractor that had a sales force that was underperforming. And so what we did is I, we came in, we had a general meeting with all of the salespeople, and then I met with them individually and interviewed, and we looked at a few things. We looked at what their, what their, how they identified successful outcomes. So if they identified it by the number of cold calls, if they identified it by the number of, of interviews that week, they identified it by the number of face-to-face -face meetings, or if they identified it just purely on sales per the month. And what we did is we kind of looked at how each, uh, how the top performers were doing and how what differentiated them and their daily practices from the other performers. And we were able to increase the productivity of the sales and marketing team by 43%, I think it was 43% in the first 60 to 90 days, and we were pretty proud of that. And are you currently accepting coaching clients? I am. We just accepted, uh, we, we had a coaching client freeze because we had too many um, previously, but as of uh, the end of July, we are open, so we can accept more clients now. And so if someone wanted to get in touch with, with me or a member of our staff, they could uh, contact us through our website at montgomerymediagroup.com or they could email me directly at marcus at montgomerymediagroup.com or they could call my coaching client uh, number at 208-703-2849. Well, thank you, Marcus. Thank you.